everyone and welcome back to my kitchen today I have a new fantastic cake recipe for you and I want to show you how to make the ultimate strawberry Swiss roll cake this cake is packed with so much incredible flavor we're going to start with a really delicate sponge cake and then we're going to fill the inside with a light and fluffy mascarpone whipped cream frosting and then we're going to add loads of diced strawberries even some crushed strawberries to add the maximum berry flavor you guys are going to love this cake it's super easy to make it's really light and fluffy and I love the berry flavor it's just the perfect cake all around don't forget to head on down the video description box for the full recipe meanwhile let's get started I'm gonna show you how to make this incredible dessert and let's get things started with the sponge cake. So I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and into my mixer bowl, I'm going to add in four large eggs and I've brought these up to room temperature. Three quarter cups of white granulated sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to whisk my eggs and sugar together for about seven to nine minutes until the eggs are really light, fluffy and pale white in color. In a separate bowl here, I have one cup of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to be adding in one teaspoon of baking powder and just mix that in together. And I want you guys to see the texture of the eggs. They're just really light and fluffy and the eggs are what give the sponge cake all its volume. So you wanna make sure that these are as fluffy as you could get them and then when you're mixing the flour, be really gentle. And I'm going to sift the flour into the eggs in small batches. So I usually add about a third of the flour. I'm gonna sift it in there and then I'm going to use my spatula to really gently but thoroughly fold the flour into the eggs. I've aligned a large jelly roll pan with parchment paper and I'm leaving the sides ungreased. I'm going to transfer my sponge cake batter onto my prepared parchment paper. And I'll use an offset spatula to spread the cake batter evenly to the edges. And it's really important to make sure that you spread this cake batter as evenly as you could possibly get it because this is not a self-leveling kind of cake recipe. So if the sponge cake batter isn't even, it's not going to bake even either. And my sponge cake is ready to go into my preheated oven. It's going to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 16 to 18 minutes until it's a light golden color on the top. And then we'll come back, I'll show you what to do next. I just took my cake out of the oven and the next steps you wanna do immediately after you remove it from the oven, don't wait for your cake to cool or set, um, or otherwise it won't roll properly. I'm just running a knife along the edges to make sure I can release the cake from the pan. Next, I'm going to grab a little bit of confectioner sugar and I'm going to sprinkle it over the entire surface of the cake. You want a nice layer of it. Next, I'm going to place a cooling rack on top of the cake and I'm going to invert it. So we have the parchment paper on the top. Lift the pan right up. And we're going to remove this parchment paper. I'm going to lay a clean dinner napkin over the top of the cake and we're going to roll the cake gently into a roll. Remember, you wanna do this while it's still warm. If you wait for it to cool, the sponge cake is just going to crack and fall apart. And now that my sponge cake is all done, I'm just going to set it aside and let it cool down at room temperature for about an hour, hour and a half until it is completely cooled. You want to make sure that that cake is cooled completely. Otherwise, the warm cake will start to melt that whipped cream filling that we're going to make next. You guys are going to love this mascarpone whipped cream. It's so light and fluffy and delicious. And for my filling, I'm going to start with eight ounces of softened mascarpone cheese. I just took this out about an hour ago out of the refrigerator and just let it soften at room temperature. I'm gonna drop that into my mixing bowl. And to my mascarpone, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I'm going to measure out a cup of confectioner's sugar. And I'm going to use my hand mixer to cream the mascarpone together with the confectioner sugar until I have a smooth and creamy mixture. I want to start out on a low speed. I 
have two and a half cups of chilled heavy cream. I'm going to add in about three quarters of a cup at first, and this will help thin out that mascarpone, and that way you don't have any clumps of cheese in the frosting. Grab your mixer, mix this for about 30 seconds. And now I'll pour in the rest of my heavy cream and mix this for about four to five minutes until stiff peaks form. And this mascarpone whipped cream is so light and fluffy. It looks so gorgeous. If you're not going to be using it immediately, I do recommend keeping it stored in the fridge so it stays nicely chilled. And now my sponge cake has cooled completely. I wanted to share one more tip with you guys. What I like to do is actually cover my sponge cake with a clean kitchen towel as it cools, and that will help retain some of the moisture so that the sponge cake doesn't dry out. And now let's assemble this cake. The first thing we need to do is unroll the sponge cake, and you want to do this really gently so the cake doesn't break. You want to very gently unroll this cake. And before I do anything else with my cake, I'm actually going to spread on some crushed strawberries directly onto the sponge cake. I have about a cup of crushed strawberries. I just used a large fork to crush them. And just have a nice even layer of crushed strawberries. Next, I'm going to add a little more than half of my mascarpone whipped cream onto the cake. I am reserving some to frost the outside of the cake as well. I'm going to use an offset spatula to spread the filling evenly to all the edges. Next, I'm going to add on some diced strawberries and just sprinkle these on so I have some finely diced strawberries. That way you get a little bit of berry with every single bite. And now I'm going to roll the cake back up the same way that it was rolled initially. I want to just kind of support the cake from the outside. And now I could take my remaining whipped cream frosting and frost the outside of the cake as well. Make sure you get the ends nicely covered. And then once you have the cake frosted, just go over with a little offset spatula and really smooth out the frosting and clean up the sides so you don't have any, any whipped cream on the sides. I transferred my remaining whipped cream into a pastry bag and today I'm using a French star tip number four. I'm going to add little dollops of cream on the top. Add some fresh strawberries on top. And my strawberry Swiss roll cake is ready for the refrigerator. I'm going to let it chill in the fridge for a couple hours, then we'll come back to slice into the cake and enjoy it. Now, when you're making this at home, my recommendation is to let it chill in there for a day, allowing all the berries and the cream and the cake to really come together. And then the cream will also add extra moisture into the sponge cake, and it's going to be phenomenal. You guys are going to love this cake. And I'm going to start slicing into this cake by first cutting off this little end piece Usually there's a little bit less frosting in there and less berries. That's a good, a good idea just to set aside. And check out all those diced strawberries that we have on the inside. And I love that the sponge cake is just lightly soaked with those crushed strawberries. There's going to be so much incredible flavor in every bite. And that is it guys for my strawberry Swiss roll cake recipe. I love how this turned out. It looks so pretty. It's simple, elegant, and stunning. And then you have just the berries as the garnish and it is so perfect. I added some more strawberries on the sides to make it look extra festive. Don't forget to head on down in the video description box for the recipe link. I'll have everything up on my website. Meanwhile, let's dig in and enjoy because this cake looks so good. I love, love the fluffy texture of it and all those berries on the inside. They're gonna add so much great flavor. Mmm. This 
It's cake heaven. This is so good. Wow. I'm gonna definitely have another bite. Or two. Or three. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Now this is my type of cake. This is so incredibly delicious. You guys are gonna be blown away with the flavors and texture. It is so incredibly soft and delicate, just fluffy, melts into your mouth. That mascarpone whipped cream is so delicate and it's really moist in the sponge cake. So the sponge cake isn't dry at all. You have loads of strawberry flavor. I love the crushed strawberries that are directly on the sponge cake and then you get little bits of the uh, strawberries in the filling. This is one heavenly cake. You guys are gonna be just in heaven with every single bite. I swear I could probably eat two of these slices because it's such a light and delicate cake that's not overwhelming, it's not too sweet. It's just the perfect cake overall. You guys are going to love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this amazing cake at home and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.